You know what? You know, since you said that and you, you we went from going in the ring to the street, first person I thought about, Diallo Frazier, who trains 52 blocks. Mm -hmm. He teaches 52 blocks. And if you haven't, we'll throw a picture of his book on the screen. And he really talks about the experience on the street, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. really fighting each people and people coming at him and people breaking it and the spirit that you have to have to really keep control under huge immense stress fear chaos anxiety chaos from the streets to prison to all the great things he's doing now i'm glad yeah. i haven't had to experience a lot of that thank you <laughs> god <laughs> Uh, I hope I don't uh, have to, but yes, don't I really respect and appreciate people that are able to go through that and come out with strong spirits. So Diallo Frazier, 52 Blocks, check it out because we'll, he answers a lot of questions about the spirit and the question that we have here, why do we want to know how to use the spirit? So why do people come to martial arts? Why would somebody start a martial arts class? What kind of spirit are they looking for? I don't know. You tell me. Normally, it's confidence. Mm. Self-discipline. Self-discipline. Now, I would say that people really don't want... They want self-discipline. <laughs> they want self-discipline, but don't but want to do, want to do the work. work. With self-discipline, there's no way you can say discipline without having to work with it. Right. So, yeah. So, self-discipline. Um, another one is, which we don't say a lot, but it's that spirit of a black belt that's what people look for mm. but you've seen in that in the movies yes. like when you see a black belt right you see them <laughs> all like this and you know it's like knights with chivalry and mm -hmm. it's also like samurais with their code exactly that's it, exactly what it's that's like. the discipline just like how um the discipline that the number one fighters have mm-hmm how much training and how much intensity and how much intention that they put behind not just their physical body or their mental state of being, but that spirit, that mm -hmm. that dog. You see it in or sports, that, too. Sports oh, is one intense. thing I love about sports. Okay. We grew up in Alabama uh -huh. where, <laughs> wait, before you go on, yeah, I got yeah. this cool mask. Thank you, Dad. Gift from our dad. It's. Bama, roll tide. I'm aware of that. Yeah, go ahead, roll. <laughs> so when we grew up in Alabama, uh, we still kept doing martial arts. And Alabama is big on sports. Alabama football. I mean, that's where we went to school. <clears throat> so there was not a lot of people doing martial arts doing what we do. Mm -mm. But there was a lot of sports. What now? Sports also can hit the spirit. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, look how that, many fans of sports there are. I know, right? That, people people admire the, mm -hmm. those who strive really hard and work hard towards their entertainment. Why do you think I'm wearing right? this Alabama mask right yeah, now? Yeah, but it's also like they strive, they want to work that hard and have that self-discipline, that dedication to be able to drive forward, to be able to run fast, to be able to do all that. Shoot, I was listening to Eric Thomas uh, this morning before we were recording uh, his and the Secret Six. Secret to Success podcast they had, and um, on his page, no, not the podcast, on their page, they had a video where he was talking to some college football players. I think was, yeah. Yeah, he was just talking about how, I'm not trying to teach you how to be better, just how to have more grit and more energy than the other team. That's a spirit. That's a spirit of martial artists. So, like, taking that energy, not just from the physical realm of fighting, but into the realm of the career too, mm. into the realm of knowledge, mm -hmm. into the realm of learning, into any realm that you go into. How do you get into those realms? How do you take your vehicle into those different realms? That's driven by your emotions. Mm. I think that was a great way to end it.